I hope you guys appreciate the cinematic sequence I put together. It's something new. I haven't tried this before, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. But I just want to be real with y'all. Like, I'm a 21-year-old man, boy, and I feel like a lot of people my age are, like, in the same boat as me. Like, having big dreams and, like, having big goals you want to achieve, but you just don't know how you do that. And that's the same with me. Like I'm currently struggling a lot with like everything. I have so many thoughts and things I want to achieve, I want to do, but nothing just seems to work. And that's really frustrating. And I think a lot of my viewers are similar aged as me, like 20, 21, maybe a little bit older, maybe even younger. But like, I think people that watch me also have big dreams and big goals. Um, and I just want to tell you that if you are feeling the same as me, like working towards stuff, but it just is not working out, you're not alone. Like I, I am experiencing the same thing, like with content, like I'm making a lot of content and it just is not working currently. And that is just frustrating to be honest. The same goes for my calisthenics career. Like I went from being in my prime like doing my nationals and everything to rock, rock bottom. Like I can't do shit right now. So um, yeah, that's why I'm also trying to experiment a little bit with like cinematic content because that's the thing I can shoot. 
um, because training wise I am nothing currently. The only thing I can do right now is what you guys saw, just a little bit of basics but that's all. So uh, calisthenics wise it is on a hold, like the winter season is hitting me big time. Um, yeah, it's just part of life I think but um, I know I will succeed and push through this because like I'm not a person that sits around and just cries about it. I'm working towards content, making content and hopefully everything will be all right and I think it will be. So um, yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys that if you're feeling the same as me, just keep going and eventually it will all work out. Like I want to, I feel like a little bit I am showing a version on YouTube that is perfect you know like um, I'm all doing all these types of shit and it's just not true I just want to be my authentic me I just want to showcase me and hopefully you guys will enjoy that as well I just want to inspire people and make content I like and hopefully making those types of content you guys will enjoy that and just enjoy watching me like watching me create stuff I will keep making content and um, yeah over time I want to inspire as many people as possible so uh, yeah guys i appreciate you all from the bottom of my heart and uh, yeah let's just keep going Today I'm going to try something that I haven't tried before. You guys may not know that I am currently injured on my elbow, unfortunately. And I'm going to try to work with a BFR band. My coach suggested it. And the thought process behind this, I put it on my upper arm right here. And um, what it does, it taps off the blood circulation towards my arm. Meaning like I am going to create a pump with a dumbbell by doing bicep curls. But because I'm doing the pump, the blood wants to go towards my arm but because it's not possible um, the blood will accumulate and after we release the band so we put the band off a lot of blood flow will go through my arm and because my injured area is poorly blood circulated we hope that that extra blood will go through every part of my arm including the parts which has poor blood circulation i'm going to show you guys and um, yeah really curious how it will be Working with those bands, like that was an experience. Like it was very interesting because like I sometimes got like a heartbeat feeling when doing bicep curls and having that band on. Like it was yeah, just an experience. I hadn't done this before. So it felt really good to be honest. Like um, the pump was crazy and uh, the veins as well. You guys saw it was pretty veiny. So uh, I've never been that veiny. Um, I'm also not that lean currently, but um, yeah, makes sense because I'm not working out that much. But it's pretty funny because I used to not give anything about a pump. To be honest, I really hated the pump. Um, I didn't like it at all because I was because I'm a static athlete like I don't like the pump at all because if you have a pump as a static athlete you, you can't do statics anymore because like the feeling of having a pump with statics it's an annoying feeling like you can't 
do the things you want to do. But now that I'm doing more basics, of I was doing a lot of basics um, before my elbow injury, I kind of I kind of fucked with the pump to be honest. Like the the feeling you have like when you have the pump and you look in the mirror like what the fuck that's crazy but it also like is shit because if you look at yourself when you don't have a pump you have got a very interest a very different view on your body so that's really interesting especially uh, at the gym where i go like the lighting there is crazy every time i'm i'm there i'm like what the fuck i look crazy shredded to the bone but um, then i come home to the mirror see look in the mirror and like mm, it's not that well need to work a little bit more harder so um, yeah let me know if you have the same experience when you go to the gym because i think it's a common uh, common feeling for at least people who go to the gym so uh, just let me know if you guys enjoyed these more cinematic spin of the video because i really enjoy making it there goes a lot of time into it that's another thing but um, yeah just let me know if you guys enjoyed watching it let me know down below in the comments